testing the audio. Testing the audio. Hello, mad scientists. I'm Mr. Bond. Hello, Mr. Bond. Today we are working with liquid nitrogen and we're working with carbon dioxide. I've got a bunch of stuff here. I've got metal pans, antacid. I got a rocket. I got a bigger rocket. I got film canisters. The not so steady cam. I can't find the lids. It's all right. We've got enough. Film canister lids. Boom. Bum, bum. There was a whole stack of them. Where did they go? Did we eat them? I got three out of four. One ah, okay. Missing, so, so there's only one off missing. somewhere. All right. There's always one missing. You want to see my dry ice? Show us your dry Show ice. Dry ice. How cool is that? Well, actually, it's 109 degrees. I can tell you how cool that is. What do they call that in Australia? Dry ice. What do they call it in England? Dry ice. Oh, gotcha. He's not British. He's, by the way, he's English. All right. Are you talking to someone, John? Yeah, I'm talking to Veronica right oh, now. Oh, hi, Veronica. Did Veronica, you can you hear English? us? <gasps> we can hear and see you. Woohoo! Nice. There's Mr. Bond. Here. Yeah, too close, Mr. Bond. Let me let me set. There I'll you go. Good. Yeah. Let me come to you. My dancing George Washingtons. I'm gonna zoom in on that dancing George Washington. What are they doing, Mr. Bond? Coco Bond, come on in. Want to put a quarter on here? Thank you. Uh, I'm on close up. Scientist. This is Coco Bond. I'm on close up. Please hold steady. Steady as a rock. Steady as a dry ice. There you go. What are you doing, Coco? So, guys, I'm just pushing the warm metal of the quarters into the dry ice as I push her. As I push them in, both the pressure and the warmness of the quarter melt the dry ice around it. Now, the metal is vibrating because this gas is trying to get out, as well as the quarters are warmer than the dry ice. So that's why it's vibrating and shaking right there. You can see these guys are really cool when they've stopped shaking. One, because they melted the dry ice around them, and two, because they one less gotten really cold. Oh, they're all frozen solid like penguins. Well, wait. You know what kind of money this is? Cold hard cash. Cold hard cash. Dun, dun, dun. You get it? Because it's cold and it's hard and it's money. You get it? Go ahead, John. Okay, thank you. It had nothing to do with Johnny Cash. Now, if I put these quarters back in, are they going to shake? Not at all. They won't shake. Because they've lost all their heat and they can't melt the ice anymore. So what would you need to do with those if you wanted to heat them up? Yeah, we could warm them up again in our hands. We could warm them up with hot water. There you go. Now they're nice and warm and we can do the experiment again. You know what kind of, mo you know what kind of money this is now? Warm, wet coins. <laughs> yeah, that's not really as funny, is it? They're not very effective, but... Hey. We went from cold, hard cash to warm, wet coins. Have we started or are we just chatting? I think we're still chatting. I don't think we've started officially yet. So I we can't have... talk to Veronica except through you. Sure, you can. Well, yeah, uh, shivering quarters is what the public live, but I believe that's Veronica. Yeah, you can talk directly to her, but you can't really hear anything. I can't what she says. Yeah. I can tell you what she says through the... Uh, through the um, chat. We need that filled three quarters of the way. So, Mr. Chat. Bond, we'll get yes. some feedback through chat, and we'll be able to, I'll be able to ask you questions that the kids are asking. So, remember, I'm the children. Yes. And you've always said I was a bit of a child, so this is nice. Don't be so childish, Professor Greybeard. Actually, be more childish, Professor Greybeard. Yeah, maybe. They always have these fat legs. <laughs> One cup at a time. Sweet. All right. Sweet. Maybe we should. I need 
step out of the picture for one minute? Okay. Sure. Or if we start. No, we're we're started enough. We'll gathering our students. We are actively doing. We're just not doing the show yet. Man, I can't wait to get a steady cam. It won't be like being on an ocean. Right now it's like you're on an ocean liner. A gimbal. Who are these scientists in your neighborhood? They're in your Fizz neighborhood. Fizz pop boom, huh? They're in Fizz your... pop boom today. Fizz pop boom. We're going to make things fizz. We're going to make things pop. And at the end, we're going to make a big boom. Please be very careful with the water. Don't spill! Slowly, slowly. Don't watch him. Don't watch him spill. Don't watch him spill. So we're setting up our outside... Mega explosion. That's where covalent bond just went. He's getting everything ready for our mega liquid nitrogen explosion outside. But we're going to do all of our introductory stuff here in the uh, kitchen studio is what we're calling it. Our real time kitchen studio. But we have good news. Mr. Bond has exciting news. We got exciting news for you. We're going to be doing what studio-wise? We're going to be improving our studio and moving out of the kitchen into a we shed. <laughs> <laughs> a very fancy. A big fancy shed. So yes, and soon we'll be able to, to be do a big fancy shed. And right we'll be able to do inside experiments and then we're also going to be able to do some outside under the awning experiments and then we're going to be able to do stuff in the big outdoors so hopefully we'll get to do some hands-on classroom activities with your teachers and with you in school when we head back to school we'll be able to do some summer programs and we'll be able to do birthday parties yep. and we'll be able to just be able to do all kinds of cool stuff with you and also visit libraries all over the United States and the world. So we're really pumped on this. Nice intro there for second grade kid. I like it. It is 5.59. We will be going... Science show in two minutes. One minute. Well, we're going to start one minute later. Oh, okay. Give them time to get ready. Relax. Well, Relax. actually, they're on a time delay. What does that mean? That means that what we're saying right now is not real time. There's probably a count of about 45 seconds before they see it. Somebody said five minutes. Is that a different country? Uh, oh, God, that would be pretty... That's a wicked that's lag. Right? Veronica, would you lag. say that... How would you say that's our lag... Not necessarily... Yeah, she says three minutes to show time. Three so, minutes to show time. But I think that that was... Yeah, so we're going to start a little bit over... Like if I say, can everybody say, hello, Mr. Bond, it'll be so delayed, there's no point, right? Yeah, we'll get hello, Mr. Bond, in about 45 seconds after, after you I'll say it. it. Which is fine, because they won't know that. Right? Yeah, Veronica, if kids want to ask questions, be on the comment. We will do our best to respond to them, but of course, because of the delay, and because we're moving around the room, and it's just the three of us, will be trickling over to check do questions. Do um, uh, questions, questions that they just need to see the questions. Yeah, do we want to do maybe questions at the end where we can collect questions and then go through some of them, Veronica? What do you think? Take a break halfway through and say, has anybody got any questions now before we go on? What do you think? Do you want to call the show to a complete halt to Half do that? 15 minutes, but then we'll have to wait for 45 seconds to hear the question. Right. And we should... We'll just wait till the end. Yeah, collect questions all the questions, at the and at the end, if you want, we can answer some questions. We can also say during the experiments, hey guys, put your questions down below. If you have any questions, we'll be having a segment. Have an Absolutely. Science show in 30 minutes. No! 25. Just kidding, just 25. kidding. Science show in two minutes. Yeah, remember. There's no real-time response to that other than 45 <laughs> seconds later. It was like, oh! <laughs> so all my jokes will be 45 seconds late. That's As okay. usual. As, As usual. usual. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring this 
whiteboard over. Keep it flat on the white side up. Ah, oh, always look on the white side right of the away. board. Oh, tilted. Right You're tilted. Nice and straight. And let's see. I'll go towards the. Let me grab a glass of water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. That one spot is where it. Actually, there isn't actually a piece of dry ice. What's going on here, Mr. Bond? We have a nice, flat, smooth surface, and we're going to let our dry ice float around. There is no friction. We have eliminated all the friction because the dry ice is floating on a layer of gas. You can think of it um, as an air hockey table. Just Ooh, like yeah. an air hockey table. You guys should draw some goals on each side. Get a little mini competition. Whoa. Should we draw a goal? Ah! My bad. Excuse you. All right, let's see what's happening here. Drawing some goals. Nice. Place some that ice hockey here. Don't let him score. Ah! Oh, whoa! For goal! goal! Oh! One zero. Short game. Mr. Bond stops in a huff. Was it? I'm not Are we ready to start the science show? What'd you say, Mr. Bond, today about it's not so much I'm upset about losing, it's just that I'm not winning the, <laughs> g the game. It's very egalitarian. I don't want everyone to lose. Okay. All right, you guys ready for some science? I'm not sure we've actually officially started. We're not going to start till we're ready. I'm waiting for Veronica to tell me that everyone's on. I do think it's been close to time. Let's see. Oh, it's 6.03. I think maybe it is time that we're supposed to start. Should we give it till 6.05 and then we can officially start? Yep. On the Make sure Science ready. show in two minutes. Yo, still two minutes. <laughs> it's been two minutes. It's going to be two minutes. Science show in still a minute and minutes. 15 seconds. Let's make it exact. Yeah, exactly. Will you hold some dry ice for us? There we go. And I'll hold some dry ice. Guys, have you ever seen it snow in spring? <sighs> spring snowstorm. Yes. That's water that froze on the top of our dry ice. What is that called? Humidity and, and condensation and frost. So it was like a little bit of frost. And and heather. We sometimes call snow by the name of heather. So if no, I'm sorry. The Eskimos have lots of names for snow. I was just trying to be. So the reason that water freezes on the outside of this is because it's so cold. You can think of it as having a cold glass of water at dinner on a warm, humid day. What are you going to get on the outside of your glass? You, you didn't spill your glass, but you have water on the outside of your glass. That's called condensation. But this is the real gas. You can see us blowing the smoke. This is carbon dioxide gas, and it comes from dry ice. Dry ice is made of it. But the actual gas you're seeing is the water vapor in the air, right? And Be the carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide. Because can you see carbon dioxide, Mr. Bond? Carbon dioxide is uh, odorless, clear gas. So wow. you never know it's there. So is this, and why is it dropping like that? Because it's actually heavier than the air around us. Because it is only carbon dioxide. Oh, with water vapor. With water vapor. Pulling it to the floor, right? I would say we've officially begun. I would be right. pretty confident that we are now in our show. Well, if everybody's ready, we're going to get started. My name is Mr. Bond. Everybody say, hello, Mr. Bond. Hello, Mr. Bond. And this is... Hi, guys. I'm Covalent Bond, the science guy. I'm not going to make you do the whole hello thing. Hello, Covalent Bond, the science guy. Not make us do the... Grab oh, some sorry. dry ice. Oh, here you go. You can have this one. I got this one. So today's experiments, we're going to be using two uh, elements, carbon or compounds, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. This is the carbon dioxide. This is a frozen gas, guys. It's a 
And the reason we're wearing gloves is because it is so cold. Just fun how cold it is. It's 109 degrees below zero. 109 negative. That's colder than the coldest place on Earth. It actually can't be found on Earth anywhere. It can be found in places like Mars and other colder planets, but it just doesn't get cold enough here to be able to find dry ice in nature. Comet tails. Yep, comets have a lot of uh, carbon dioxide on them that's frozen, yet you can sometimes see that gas coming off. It's not only carbon dioxide, it can be a bunch of different gases. In this experiment, can you see the gas is pushing the quarters from side to side? So that's a little gas pressure experiment. Can you hear them clicking, clicking, clicking? And then once they freeze, they're going to stop shaking. This one's frozen, this one's frozen, this one's frozen, this one's frozen, this one's about to be frozen. So that means the quarter is now, how cold would you estimate? Now it's about 50 degrees below zero, which is the same temperature as your freezer. Wow. And it's not warming up the carbon, the dry ice anymore. So you can actually touch these with your bare hands, but they're very, very cold. You can see the frost on the outside, the condensation. And what kind of money is this, Tovail and Bond? Cold, hard cash. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. So we're going to do a lot of experiments with the dry ice. Um, first experiment, grab the pot. I'll grab the ice. Do I need my life insurance? And push the pan. Oh, right there. <laughs> Push the, dry, the pan onto the dry ice. Cover your ears, everybody. This is going to be horrible. I love the sound of dry ice in the morning. Let's do two at once. Here's the ice. Thank you. Here's my ice. Mr. Vaughn, we should make this a small segment because the air speakers may be hurting our ears. <laughs> That's the whole point. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Mr. Bomb, what kind of music are you playing there? Uh, I did Happy Birthday. That's some heavy metal music. <laughs> heavy metal, Happy Birthday. Well, this is not heavy metal. That's heavy metal. Oh, this is heavy metal. It's a heavy birthday. Wait, this is a fart mix. Oh, what was that again? <laughs> All sounds are caused by... Vibration! Vibration! So when the ice touches the metal, it pushes it out of the way. Remember the quarter's shaking? And that vibration creates the beautiful musical notes. Now, what do you think is going to happen if we bring in some water here? Oh, hmm. It'll make the water cold. All right, guys, this is very warm water. We heated this up in the sink. Just regular water. Now I'm going to drop in some dry ice. I'm going to... This is Mr. Bond's favorite part of the experiment, because this is when he... Breaks the ice. Wah, wah. Call out to Hazmat. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Not toilet trouble, guys. <laughs> so the hot water is making the dry ice melt faster, so the carbon dioxide is coming out faster. Which way is the gas going? Down. So is this gas heavier or lighter than air? It's heavier because it's going down. Here, let me pour it on your head, Coco. Watch the water. So this is a lot of water vapor attached to CO2 molecules, and it's falling to the ground. Remember, kids, no smoking. But this is not smoke. This is not uh, dangerous in any way. This gas is totally safe. It's not smoke. It's gas. Put this on the table. Would you like me a taste test? Let's do a taste Apple. test. Let's do a quick taste test, guys. This is, this is a taste that you often find. This is the main ingredient in soda, if you've ever heard of carbonation. So we've got our bottle here. It's got a nice spout. And we're going to put our hand on the top, and gas is going to blow right out of the spout. This is called an Erlenmeyer flask. This is our Erlenmeyer short and stout. 
drop in the dry, I spit the carbon dioxide out. You want to... Mm -hmm. Again, no smoke. Ooh, what was Dragon's that? Are you, are you part dragon? Hold on. Close. Let's try that again, covalent. Oh, my, mom, my mom is kind of fiery. Yes. <laughs> and I'm hoping mom's watching this. Ooh, one nostril. <laughs> Can you say deviated septum? There you go, grab that. Ready? All right, you guys like ready this. to try this? Everybody, get close to camera. Here we go. Open wide. <coughs> <coughs> wow, okay. that stuff is fizzy. Now, if you can see our sign behind us, it says it's a non-flammable gas. This gas is not going to catch fire. And I want to prove that to you. So I'm going to light a fire or a candle. So what do you think will happen if we pour carbon dioxide Wait. onto the fire? Carbon is fuel. Oxygen feeds fires. Are you sure this is a good idea, guys? Carbon dioxide is carbon and oxygen. Let's try it. It's going to slowly. It, it's going to put the perfect. fire. Perfect. So it puts out the fire. Wow. Let's try it again. So guys, Carbon dioxide is what we like to call a non-flammable gas. And you can even see that behind us. It's Let's do it one more time, and I'm going to get really close so they can see it. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry. I had some... Just a second. Now, now first, pour some gas in. We're... Do you think I can light it while it's in there? Wow. It won't light the candle. It's... Let me get rid of the carbon dioxide. What, what did you blow out that added... I blew out the carbon dioxide to let the air in, uh -huh. but now we can blow it out again. Don't you breathe out carbon dioxide as well? You do. Interesting. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Wow. And that is a non-flammable gas. Non-flammable gas. All right. So we promised you some popping, so I brought some film canisters. Poppings for some poppins. Guys, this is an ancient technology. Some of you may have never seen it before, but they actually used to use these for cameras. It's much louder. Oh, it so says there that... There you go. There's the film canister. Awesome. All right. And I'm going to snap the lid on. Now, if you ever do this yourself, don't look at the film canister. Get it away from your face. And I like to hold it Statue of Liberty style. What's going to happen? The dry ice is heated up by Coco's hand, and it will make the dry ice melt into gas. And that gas will fill the film canister. The gas will expand, and it will put pressure on the film canister until finally... Keep it up. Oh, good. It will pop. Is it called melting, Mr. Bond? I thought it had a different name. There's a fancy word for it. It's called sublimation. Sublimation. Say, sublimation. Sublimation. And sublimation. Now, Ooh. who thinks this will pop? Who thinks it will not? Oh. There it goes. Perfect. Woo. Eventually it popped, right? What do you think, guys? Did that take too long? Yeah. Oh, How can man. we make it pop faster? I think we need to speed it up. I think we should add some heat. Let's add some heat. So, remember our hot water? There you go. Now this time you're going to have a lot less time before it pops, so be careful. Ready guys? Top on, statue of style. Three, two, Whoa, wow. that was much faster. Excellent. And the water vapor is coming out and you can see the gas this time, huh? Mm -hmm. And we can try one more time, statue of style. There's almost no wait time on this one because the dry ice is being heated up by the warm water we put in there. And that's sublimating the dry ice. It's melting the dry ice quicker. Melting. So let me try to launch a rocket here. I'm going to use the same propellant, use the dry ice, and here's my rocket. And there's the rocket. And I didn't put water in, so this is going to take a little while. You guys can run around the house. <laughs> We're doing it. 
anything you'd like. Do some push-ups. Yes. Burpees. Make a taco. Now, if you want to try an experiment like this at home, get a bottle, a plastic bottle, that snaps on and off. You do not want to screw it on. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But re ne remember, never use a screw-on cap. So those are like dairy bottles and... I think I've seen some Milo tea up in Kentucky. And the but most important thing are these snap on caps. Snap huh? on caps. Oh, it's like Not a dairy a bottle cap. cap. All right. All right, zooming in on our rocket. Is the rocket ready to launch? It's sure taking its sweet time. Let's do a countdown. Ten, nine, five, four, seven, two, twelve. 11. It's going to take forever. One. Oh! oh! Wasn't very dramatic, though, was it? That countdown was perfect. As always. Now, we've got a little experiment here with a clear plastic bottle. Very quickly. Got some hot water. If people have come in late, can you please identify yourselves again yes. so people know who you are? If you just came in, I'm Mr. Bond, the science guy. And I'm Covalent Bond, the science guy. And behind the camera is Professor Greybeard. Gonna add some dry ice again. And this time we have a mystery chemical. Ooh, I bet you can't guess what it is. Ninja fluid! Ninja fluid! It actually, it actually took me six years to collect just this amount of ninja fluid. From your friendly neighborhood ninja? I had to squeeze them all. I, oh. had, I had to go to China and squeeze Gross. 700 ninjas. It, ninja China? I thought right, ninjas were Japanese. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. They were passing through China. Yeah, I thought it was just, yeah, cool. Bubble, bubble. Oil and trouble. So as we can see, our bubbles are coming out. Our bubbles are getting caught in the soap. And you can just scrape it off with your hand like this. Nice. And blow some of Mr. Bond. <sighs> He's English. This is his bath for the week. There you go. Grab some. Bubble high five. Bubble five yeah, nice is alive. Bubble five. Can you see the gas coming out? Ooh, it smells so our good. our bubbles are different from regular bubbles. They contain, instead of air, Carbon dioxide. They smell so good. Zooming in. Let's take a quick look. Crush, crush. Mr. Crush. Bond, can I put some bubbles on your head? Absolutely. All right, ready? Take it off. There we are. Now he's actually got some brains for once. Oh. Is that a good look on me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's Scoop his turn. this off. You want it? There we go. One. And this will keep bubbling until either the dry ice is gone or the water is frozen. Oh, let me see that. Wow, look at all those bubbles. Looks like a Smurf hat. <laughs> Going to clear the, clear the board again. Whew. Now I've got wet hair. Oh. Do you want to do another explosion? Let's do another explosion. Should we do the... Okay, let's do this one. All right, guys. Can we, we do it down on the ground? Gauze and some styrofoam cups. All right. Put some warm water in the vase already. We're going to go grab a glove. Could you break up some, Mr. some more dry ice? There we go. Remember, guys, always use a glove when handling dry ice. Only your parents should be handling the dry ice if you... Happen to get some sort of science experiment. You can generally find dry ice at your local Kroger or Publix or what other what Kentucky grocery stores can you get it from? Don't know. Well, actually also welding shops. Welding shops also sell. Yeah, dry ice, welders. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna crouch down low, guys, so all my friends can see this as it happens. All right, guys, so I'm going to kneel down right next to it. I'm going to make sure my face isn't over the top of it. I'm going to give it a good high five. I don't want to smash it or I'll make, break my cups. I'm just going to give it a good high five. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. So what's going to happen? Whoa! Whoa! Jeepers! <laughs> that was fabulous. Let's get closer to that. I'm going to check. All right. Hold on. I'm going to make sure I'm set. 
I think everybody ready? Yep. Not as cool. Not as cool. We'll yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Three, two, one. Let's try that again and I'll go wide this time. Hold on. Excellent. Let me get back here, guys, so that everybody can see what's happening. All right, first period, I'm going to tilt it towards you just slightly. Whoa! Hit the computer. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Everything's fine. Now, what would happen if we add more cuts? Who thinks it'll go higher? Who thinks it'll go less high? More cups means more mass, so maybe it won't go as high. Let's try it. It's a little bit heavier. Oh. Bottom cup for us. <laughs> Bottom. Whoa! Hmm. Did that go nearly as high? Let's try it again with a bitter whack. A bitter what? A better whack. A better whack. Here we go, whack. Two, one. A whack attack. It doesn't go as high because it's heavier, and it's um, the gravity is pulling it back down to earth much faster. So again, what's building up inside of our bottle, our container? So Pressure! So guys, ah. as the dry ice melts, it produces that gas, you can see it here. This creates pressure inside of this container because that gas is expanding to fill the space. If you can, I want you to comment on the Facebook Live and say, expanding to fill the space because that's what gases do and the facebook page is the per i mean the comments space is a perfect place to ask us questions and we'll try to answer them at the end we mentioned that earlier we'll take some time after our big explosion to to look at what your comments are and if you have any questions so this is my most dangerous experiment don 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 try this at home wait i thought Covalent, I thought he forbids you to do this experiment. Isn't this? I tell him not this is crazy. I thought we weren't going to do this one. <laughs> I was Let's worried about. Throw in the dry ice. But more dry ice over here. I, I'm but not doing this. The whole thing in there. That's no, all that's of our dry ice. ice. This is insane. This is crazy. Now. I'm going to lower my hand down into the cauldron. 109 degrees below zero. Don't do this. Count to 10 and watch what happens. One. Wait. Two. Three. Four. four five, five. Six. Six. What just happened? Seven. Eight. All yeah. right. You can see after only 10 seconds. Now I am going to shatter his hand. Just kidding, nothing happens at all. This is just regular carbon dioxide gas that we've been using. It doesn't do anything at all. Thank goodness. Who's going to sign the checks if you destroy your hand? Covalent Bond is going to put his head into the cauldron. No. Oh. Oh, Ready? Mess with cool, let's Close check that eyes. one out. All right. Okay. Hold your breath. Go. One, two. Three, what? four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten, and out. Perfect. My, as you can see, my eyelashes are perfect. Now the gas is totally safe, but if you don't have anything else except the gas, then you can't breathe. Right? All right. So is so it? So you it's, need it's oxygen to breathe. Is, you is guys it, gonna try it? Are we gonna do it? All right. Take a deep and, breath. Everybody ready? Hold your nose. Here we go. Don't breathe. breathe. One, two, three, Hurry up. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. You did it. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> Excellent job. I said don't try it at home, and you tried it at home anyway. I'm going to slide it out of the way. All right, Mr. Bond, are we ready to do our finale? We are. For the last experiment, we're going to go outside. So follow me, everybody. Da, the perfect da, day out da, there, da, guys. Da, da, da. All right, friends. Now, here we go. Well, Hold on, I gotta get our cords pulled through. Sorry. I am a one, one man gaffer here. 
Hold on. It's looking good. You can see we've been waiting for you. Got everything set up. So guys, what is in that? So we're working with a different container. compound this time. It's a liquid, not a solid like dry ice. This is liquid nitrogen. If you can see it and hear it, that sizzling sound is the liquid nitrogen kind of warming up and changing back into gas. Well, what's it doing when it hits the water? It's warming up and changing back into a gas. Now, liquid nitrogen is made with nitrogen. Wave your hands around. Most of the air around you is nitrogen. So we don't have to worry about nitrogen. But liquid nitrogen is very, very cold. So you never want to touch the liquid nitrogen, covalent bonds, you don't have to worry about that. So we're very seriously out in the front yard. You might hear lots of things around us like cars going by. This is not Mr. Bond's garden in London though. We couldn't get back because we're all respecting our stay at home orders and, and uh, Mr. Bond just is going to- Safety gonna... goggles on. Safety goggles on, always important. You go to the top and I'll hand you the water. Awesome. Now this bucket just has hot water. Then the grip. No, go down the steps. There we go. Right, can you reach it comfortably from there? A little bit closer. Okay. Just three inches closer. Are you ready? Ten, nine. nine wait, eight, wait, wait. That's too long. Let's start at eight. Five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Wow. And this gas is totally safe. This is a gas we breathe in every day. It's made up of 70% of the air. And the liquid nitrogen is all turned back into gas. Guys, that's all we have for you today. Put those questions up and we're going to go back inside and take your questions. So start typing out your questions about dry ice, carbon dioxide, liquid nitrogen, and any other questions that you saw from today. Also, if you have any questions about the vocabulary, make sure to put your questions about the vocabulary down in the comments. All right, we'll see you in about 40 seconds. All right, guys, we're heading back in here, pulling my cable back in. With this, give them 45 seconds to answer. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we've got any questions already waiting for us, Mr. Bond. I don't see anything waiting for us yet. All right, guys, so we're in about... the meantime, we're going to do a few more canister explosions. Just hang Ooh. on. More explosions. Oh, I'm scrolling down, guys. There's tons here. Let's see. So this is the milk carton or <clears throat> oh, this is so... Milo's tea. It's Milo tea bottles, yeah. Lid, but it's... Wow. Whoa. Ooh, nice one. Expanding to fill a space. Good job. If you don't have dry ice, don't worry. You can use any antacid. When you eat, when you take an antacid, it soaks up the acid in your stomach and it creates gas. So you, this is how you can do it at home. So this is how you can do it at home. All right. If you don't have dry ice. Get some antacid tablets. Tablets. Drop the tablets in the bottle, add a little water, and then snap that lid on. But if it doesn't pop, don't look at it and say, I wonder why it didn't pop. Because what will happen? Boom! It, it'll pop. Right in your face, right? So keep your face away from it. And remember, guys, if you do decide, if your parents decide to get some dry ice, to do some experiments with dry ice, never put it in a truly pressurized container. No screw-on lids or anything that will create an overly pressured system. Because otherwise, if this bottle had a twist on and I left it on there, it might blow off my hand. Super dangerous. Super dangerous. Remember, guys. All right. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? I don't have anything coming in yet, but I'm a, I'm. I uh, will keep an eye. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Trick job. <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, Julian says. 
Science is so much fun. How cool is that, right? Yeah. I wonder what I wonder what uh, Julian's favorite science experiments are. What he likes to do. We like to say science is cool, fun, and easy. Can you tell them about some more possible chemical reactions that they can do at home? You can do vinegar and baking soda. Put them together and it creates a lot of gas. If you add dishwashing liquid, you'll get a really cool volcano erupting. Mm -hmm. You can also do that experiment with regular hydrogen peroxide, 3% that you use for small cuts and things like that, as well as yeast. The yeast is going to be your catalyst. Uh, you need to put soap in this one as well so it doesn't sputter everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm looking on here and I'm seeing that we have a thank you for watching and there is a yeah. link to go. So we might be coming, definitely coming to the end okay. of the video. I think if you have time, Mr. Bond, we do birthday parties, we do camps, we do clubs, we have a live stream all online. You could do a birthday party online in your own home with your friends in their own homes and with us doing exactly this and many other things really fun birthdays for you while we're all stuck at home and be sure to go to the mr bond website that's mr bond science guy.com and you can go to that website and we also have some experiments on there and some great links and go check out our youtube channel oh yeah we've actually right. shot a couple of videos where we've actually edited it and you can sit and watch those and mr. we've bond also science guy and we put up some of our live streams up there as well so check it out our live streams guys we do three free live streams or two to three free live streams a week every week so if you want to tune into those tune into those you can sign up for our newsletter on mr bond science guy dot com mm -hmm. and Please join us. We are looking to get as many kids as much science education while we are in this state as possible. Next Please week we're us. making ice cream live online and you can do it yourself at home. Join us on the live stream. And that's MonSciencegui.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Baltimore Science Guys have joined us. They're Yay! here as well. And that's actually the other Bond clan. That's Ionic Bond. Ionic Bond and that's, that's and hazmat bond as well joining us so come check those out that's again at monday at monday at one wednesday at one friday at 10 a.m and this is all central time you can adapt by adding or subtracting depending on where you're watching around the country and hopefully around the globe yes it's at 10 p.m in england if you need to know that <laughs> Thank you. All right, I think we're going to end our live feed. We're going to end it. Bye, guys. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon, guys. Have a great day.